Hello friends, I'm Jantastic and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't posted here a lot recently, but it's my favorite time of the year and we are going to go through React Holiday. Now what's React Holiday? React Holiday is my 25 day course celebration of React. And so this year we're gonna talk about React 18 and all the changes that you need to know about in order to get your app into sh shape for React 18. So without any further ado, let's dive into um, what we learned this week. Every week I wanna do a YouTube recap of what we've covered in the newsletter. So what's the newsletter? Glad you asked. Let's check it out. So what we have over here is react.holiday. You can sign up for the email course right here. Um, it looks like it's being, the old version's being cached for some reason, I don't know, inexplicable. Um, Gatsby was really aggressive about caching and so even locally I'm seeing this, uh, this, this old version. But it doesn't matter, the email thing will go be the same, it's just that I'm telling you that this is about React 18 up here. You can sign up, give me your email address, you'll get 18 lessons four videos and three, I think, quizzes to test what we've learned. So that's where you sign up. That's what we're gonna be talking about. And we'll talk specifically today about the first three emails that went out this week. First is about the gradual adoption strategy. What I want you to know here is, is that everything that we cover is covered on the React 18 working group repo. So you go to React WG, you find the React 18 working group, and go to discussions and you'll see everything that we're talking about here. Now, in this email course, I've just broken it down for you so it's a little bit more digestible, step-by-step, -step, direct. Now, one specific article that you'll be interested in is the introduction to React 18, where they specifically talk about the gradual adoption strategy. Now, what the gradual adoption strategy means is, is that you can actually run your app as if it is running in React 17. So if you npm install React beta, then you'll get the latest version, the working version of React 18. And if you change no code, it's going to work as if it is running React 17. Really impressive. Um, but then there's a way to opt into React 18. So super cool, we're gonna cover that in just a second. So that is this article, you can read it in all of the discussion here. Um, in day two, we talked about versioning. Versioning is a very important topic to understand if dealing with React. So if you go over to NPM, find the React package and hit versions, you'll see these tag aliases that you can use to install various versions of React. So um, if you just do NPM install React, it's gonna give you the latest version. And uh, let's see what that is. So latest today is 17. Dot zero dot two with a grip of installs. <laughs> now, there's some additional tags that you can use to install React, and these are what we're gonna explore today. So um, experimental is the most <laughs> experimental edgy. Um, they make no guarantees about any of the APIs that are in this experimental branch, um, even making it into a release of React. So experimental, means experimental. You never know what's gonna actually come into React from this. Now, the kind of next most experimental branch is next, okay? So next is whatever the next release is. So that could be a beta, that could be an alpha, whatever the kind of like next version of um, what we think the next possible version of React is going to be. However, it can point to beta or alpha. So it may be less stable at times depending on what the development cycle looks like. Now you'll notice right now that beta and next are actually the same version. So 18.0.0, beta, and then that hash at the end of it. So if you use beta or next right now, then you'll get the same thing. However, the safest version of these future versions is going to be beta. So this is going to guarantee that you, you're using a version that's actually um, intended for eventual release. And so it's only gonna have features that are intended for release and have been really pretty well thought through, discussed, and um, you know communicated at this point by the community. So 
Those are your versions. The version that we're going to focus on is beta, as I'd mentioned already. And um, that's what we'll use to actually install React 18 beta with all of the APIs in their kind of most stable iteration. So we can close that. And here you can see we have a React app running in React 17, not 18. So let me reorganize these panes just a little bit and we can update this. So this is a repo that I will share to subscribers in the newsletter. And um, right now it has a pretty conventional React 17 setup. So uh, we import React, we import React DOM, we have an app component, and uh, let's see, we create a root and then React DOM render our app to the root. So let's use what we've learned about React versions and update that now. So we'll say npm, actually this repo uses yarn, it's a create React app. So we say yarn add react at beta and react dom at beta. So we're gonna hit that and then I'm gonna open up our package JSON while that's running. Okay, you saw that happen right away. So we had react 17.0.2 before and now it's react 18. 0.0 dash beta dash this SHA. And that's going to change um, as they release um, you know, new versions. So we have that. Let's uh, save our, well, we, actually we don't need to make any changes. So we're just going to say yarn run again or yarn start again. And uh, refresh our app. Perfect. Open this up and see what happened. Now, if everything worked, we're gonna see a warning. And so this is a new warning specifically for React 18. What does it say? React DOM.render is no longer supported in React 18. Use create root instead. Until you switch to the new API, your app will behave as if it's running in React 17. Learn more. And so we can click this link and get um, sent to the article on how to replace um, create root, which isn't loading for some reason. There we go. Okay. So here we have everything that we need to know to change um, from React 17 to React 18. Now it's important that React 17 still works and you'll see in later lessons how we can use this to our advantage to incrementally migrate our applications. But for now, let's just go through and run through the process of changing from the legacy create root API to the new root API. We have this here and we're just gonna change something ever so slightly. We're gonna take our root, we're gonna move it over here, create root, use that new API and put it there. Okay, now once we've created a root with our root element, then we render our application to it. So it goes from like a one stage to a two stage process. Now, the cool thing is that we can actually create our root in isolation and then call render on it at different stages, which is really interesting. So we hit save and then let's refresh our app and that error goes away. Pretty awesome. So that's it. That's all that we did for this week was we talked about um, the gradual adoption strategy, what it means and why it's important. Uh, we talked about versions. Right now we're going to be using beta. It's the safest version that you can be using to be testing out React 18. And we talked about this new create root API. So that's really it for this week. And if you're following along, thank you so much for following along. If you're not yet following along, go to react.holiday and um, sign up. I'll be on the other side sending you emails and videos and quizzes. So thanks so much for being here. You're awesome. Have an awesome holiday season. And I hope to see you in those emails. If not, I'll catch you next week on another one of these recap videos. See you later.